morning guys uh, got a magical day planned today we're gonna head to Hollywood Studios for a little bit so my family can experience Galaxy's Edge for the first time and then head to Epcot we got Tepanedo lunch spend the day there then we have dinner at Yakman Steakhouse and we might be able to make it to Magic Kingdom for extra magic hours don't know yet we'll see what the day and the night have in store for us Guys, uh, I'm in love with this Funko Pop right here. There's a lot of epic merchandise here, but I really want that Funko Pop. One more day. One more day and it opens. Uh, today, Galaxy's Edge is actually closing at 4 for, uh, for the ride dedication. It's closed off to media. And I don't know if I'm going to ride it tomorrow. <sighs> I don't know if I want to wait five hours to ride it. It's going to be remarkable. I know that, but five hours. Well, you may have come to Batu on holiday. We are here on business. The resistance has been reduced to a handful of stragglers with no hope of standing against us. And yet, we believe they are making the useless attempt to regroup. The spy was trapped here. A small outpost on a small planet. Your mission was clear. <laughs> I will see this outpost for myself. The streak continues. I'm telling you, every time I step into Galaxy's Edge, I'm getting blue milk. It's gonna happen. Alright, first off, I was just able to meet the Tim Tracker. Like I said, there's this huge media event going on. Being able to meet him, that was awesome. Second, going into Doc Omdors for a second time, it's even more impressive than the first. It's, it's remarkable the things that you can find in there. And it's like you go in and it just, it's tremendous, honestly. Galaxy's Edge is on a whole nother level of amazing it's when you step in there it's you're completely immersed it's you are in the middle of the star wars galaxy and that is what separates galaxy's edge from absolutely everything else i believe that what disney did there is going to be the future of theme parks and just i can't wait to see what they have in store with rise of the resistance as well i mean that's going to be out of this world i have to stop saying that pun <laughs> But in all seriousness, that level of, immer of immersion, just the cast members playing a role, you know, you're not on Earth anymore, stormtroopers walking around, Ray, it's, it's remarkable. Get by Hollywood Studios for now. We're definitely gonna be back. Probably tomorrow, maybe? Maybe. But now we're heading out to Epcot to go to eat at uh, Tepanedo. And now I'm going to be able to try out Skyliner system for the first time. I've been wanting to ride it ever since it opened. It looks awesome. I can't wait to get in there. That was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Take off super smooth. Um, basically everything was uh, really smooth. There was a little bit of wind, so there was some movement into it, but 
I mean, it's something. It's just, it's just awesome. And I had a lot of fun. That was awesome. Now we gotta take. We're here in the um, in the hub here in Caribbean Beach. Take another one. Head to Epcot. Have lunch at the Panela. Okay, so the Skyliner, it's awesome. I loved it. I, I'm not one for heights. I like, it, it's not like I'm gonna die, but uh, staying on solid ground is pretty fine. So that is awesome. And the views that you get are outstanding. Now, my mom and my dad, they weren't really fans of it because of the height. Uh, there were times where it starts swinging or it's a little bumpy when you're going into the turn station or when you're taking off But besides that it was a really nice ride Yeah, I would do it again. Definitely Alright guys, so um, it's been two years since we last ate here in Tepanedo. Um, the food here is great. Uh, nothing out of this world, honestly, but it is good. And uh, being in the hibachi table and just having your food prepared in front of you, that's, that's what makes it worth, honestly. <laughs> Welcome to Japan. Alright guys, so for my appetizer here, I got the wafu ribs. They look good. Let's give them a try. Oh. All right, uh, they're very soft. Um, either I burned off all my taste buds, or um, not much flavor to them. Honestly, they're a good option, but I think I'd be looking for another appetizer option if I were to come back here. <laughs> continue with, um, with the cooking I just wanted to come up try the noodles they're spectacular I love them I also tried the sp uh, spicy calamari which is the appetizer my dad uh, ordered better than the ribs for sure it was amazing oh. <laughs> Just got the shrimp. Let's try it out. The shrimp is very good. Soft, cooked perfectly. Now I want to try it with that uh, yum yum sauce that it comes with. The shrimp with the yum yum sauce, that's the way to go. Amazing, amazing. That yum yum sauce is out of this world. It is outstanding. Plate has come together beautifully. Let's uh, let's give this steak a try. Cooked well, tastes amazing, super soft. It was really good. 
But don't forget the yum yum sauce with the shrimp. Don't do it. All right, guys, so for dessert, I got the green tea ice cream with added blueberries that my dad decided to throw in there. <laughs> um, I tried green tea ice cream once in Katsura Grill, which is a quick service here, a long time ago, and I actually did like it. So, um, let's, let's see how it is. I like it. Can you stop throwing blueberries in my ice cream? Keep on throwing blueberries in my ice cream. Green tea ice cream is great and all, but with the added blueberries that everyone just keeps on throwing into my ice cream, it's really, really good. Like, all right, so uh, I'm gonna try my brother's um, mango mousse cake here. Let's give it a try. Not as mangoey as I would like it to be, um, the cake is soft. Uh, it's a well-prepared cake. It's soft, it's moist. Flavor, not so much. I'll settle with my green tea ice cream. All right, guys, I gotta say, I'm impressed with my lunch here today. I feel like Tepanedo's uh, an overlooked restaurant. It doesn't get the credit that it deserves. It's a pretty good restaurant. The food is great. The entertainment, just having the food prepared right in front of you in a hibachi table, that's that's a lot of fun. Chefs always have a great sense of humor. They're very talented. It's a great choice for lunch or dinner, wherever you would like to come. It's uh, it's very good, and it surprised me today. I mean, I, I overlook Tepanedola. I really do. I'm not going to do that anymore. Today's lunch was surprisingly very, very, very good. Now we're heading back to Hollywood Studios. Uh, parents want to ride a uh, smuggler's run. We're going to be heading back and then I don't know what else the day has in store for us. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe we come back to Epcot. <laughs> Told you guys I'd be back soon. Uh, we're gonna try to rush over to Smuggler's Run to ride it before they close the land. They're gonna close Galaxy's Edge at four for the uh, media dedication event. So, uh, kind of running against the clock here. We gotta get there fast. All right, guys, uh, we got the uh, the popcorn here in uh, Galaxy's Edge. I, well, I wanted to try it when I was here, but I just kept on forgetting to get it. Now I didn't forget. Uh, let's give it a try. No, this is literally Fruity Pebbles. Like, literally. Okay, this literally tastes like Fruity Pebbles. I know a lot of people have said it, but I didn't believe them. This literally tastes like Fruity Pebbles. It's insane. <laughs> it's so weird. You bite into popcorn and all you taste is Fruity Pebbles. What a beauty. Pilot on the right. Go 
hold back on this thing to fly out and push forward to fly down. The weapons are on light. Let's go get that coaxi out. Light pilot, make the jump to light speed. Let's do this. run as amazing as always this time I was able to try out the uh, right pilot I flew up and down I activated a hyper speed which was awesome but honestly I mean you do have control of it but I mean just it wasn't really that much honestly um, but it's always a fun ride it's awesome at 65% I think that's the highest flying percentage I ever got I think well, so it did pretty good. Sadly, Galaxy Z just closed right now. <laughs> what are we gonna do? 439. I think we should be heading up to the. So we can ride rock and roller coaster. Can we ride the rock and roller coaster first? Wow. Ah. Yeah. Alright, guys, quick change of plans. Instead of the rock and roller coaster, we're actually heading to the Tower of Terror. We were able to find fast passes for like 20 minutes from now. That's where we're heading to right now. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Guys, I'm, I'm checking into this like really creepy hotel. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully everything works out at the end. <laughs> You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. The time is now on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. At all times, and do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. Estimado's voice, baby. Stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and had a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. You are about to discover what lies beyond the dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination. I love that ride so much. 
and this time the M50 was able to record it. The autofocus was not going crazy like it did last time. So I think I was able to record most of it. And I love that ride, honestly. It's, it's tremendous. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna head to the resort. Uh, we're going to change because uh, Yakman Steakhouse does have a dress code. So we're gonna get dressed, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna head out for dinner. Alright guys, now we're just gonna relax for a little bit, get changed, head out to Yakman Steakhouse. See you guys right about now. Dressed, we're ready, reservation is just under an hour. Gonna head over to the Yacht Club right now. Can't wait to see what Yakman Steakhouse has in store for us. Alright guys, we just made it to Hollywood Studios. Um, we kinda lost track of time and uh, there are 15 minutes until our reservation and we're still in Hollywood Studios. We're gonna speed walk over to the Yacht Club. This place is stunning. I mean, it's beyond beautiful. I'm in love with it already. All right, guys, so uh, I'm pretty sure that in any of the other restaurants, I didn't show the, the little bread service that they bring out. Um, but I had to show it this time because with the bread, they uh, bring this caramelized roasted garlic that you get it, you spread it on the um, bread and we've done it before in our house. It is spectacular. I'm gonna give this a try. Like, this is spectacular. <laughs> it's the roasted garlic spreads like butter. I mean, this is incredible. Whole nother level of, of bread service here. The bread itself is super, super soft. You get the garlic, you spread it over. It's like eating an epic garlic bread. This is spectacular. All right, guys, appetizers just came out. Me and my mom, we ordered the lobster bisque. My dad and my brother, they ordered the charcuterie board, which looks spectacular. But the soup looks amazing as well. Okay, I needed to search it up. Uh, the server just told me, but there are lobster biscuits inside the lobster bisque. <laughs> Biscuit, bisque. Uh -huh. All right, let's try this out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best lobster bisque I have ever had in my life. I've had a lot of lobster bisque. It's my favorite type of soup. What is that? Beautiful, creamy, beyond filled with flavor. Let me try out the lobster biscuits in here. Very, very, very good. Oh my god, if you come here, get, get the lobster bisque. Uh, I cannot recommend it highly enough. Oh my god. Alright guys, I was able to steal some duck bacon from my brother here. Uh, it looks amazing, let's give it a try. That was heaven on a fork right there. It is beyond amazing. I mean, the maple that they put on it, it has a, a five spice maple bourbon um, thing on it. Um, it just brings it all together. The, 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 the sweet and the savory, I, I love that kind of, the sweet and savory combination. That was amazing. <laughs> so far, double win in the appetizers here in the Yaxman Steakhouse. Spectacular. Hey guys, wanted to come up here and say two things. Uh, one, the lobster biscuits in the lobster soup are amazing, but they are super thick. I mean, like, 
it feels like if you were to eat too much of it, uh, you're gonna choke and die. I mean, it's it's that bad. Second, I tried three things from the charcuterie board: the duck bacon, which oh my god, it's it's in terms of sausages and like things in charcuterie boards, it's the best thing I've ever had by a long shot. The chorizo, the elk sausage, this charcuterie board puts the California Grill charcuterie board to shame. This one is far better, and I only had three of the things that were on it. It is spectacular. All right, guys, honestly speaking, uh, have you ever seen a more beautiful table than that one right there? There is so much steak. Steak is distributed. Uh, we got the porterhouse for two. Um, now, this does go into the dining plan. It will just take up double the amount of um, credits as just a regular entree would. Let's give it a try. Well prepared, delicious, well made. Honest opinion, yesterday's steak in La Salle was better. But it's not to take away from this one. I mean, Salle set a pretty high bar yesterday. All right guys, so uh, for dessert, we ordered the banana bread pudding. It looks and smells amazing. It has a banana, like a caramel rum sauce, kind of like the one that they have on the bread pudding in Ohana. So uh, let's give this a try. Ohana. Okay. This literally tastes like the bread pudding from Ohana. Honestly, I mean, it's I would it's basically identical. I, it's super soft. It's a great uh, bread pudding. Um, the caramel rum sauce that they have on it is amazing. So pieces of banana on the side. I mean, I love banana, so that's always a win for me. Hey guys, I have to say I was uh, kind of disappointed with Yakman Steakhouse today. I had big hopes for it. I really did. After eating at California Grill, then eating at Le Cellier with mind-blowing food, I'm like, Oh, let's see what Yakman Steakhouse has in store for us. It wasn't there. It wasn't there at the level that I was expecting it to be or at the level of either California Grill or Le Salier. I mean, I was more impressed with some of the regular table service restaurants that we've been to than Yakman Steakhouse. Uh, for example, today, Tepanedo, I mean, it blew my mind how good it was. Here, no, look, I'll, I'll, I'll give it this. If I were to go for just appetizers and dessert, it's awesome. The steak itself, the porterhouse for two, not there. It was not good at, it's not that it wasn't good. It was good. But at the level that you would assume from a signature dining location, steakhouse, nope, not at all, it's not there. The sides that come with the steak, the uh, aged Gouda mac and cheese was good. The beef fat potatoes were honestly flavorless. The truffle fries were all right. The bone marrow was good. The bone marrow was really good. But the steak itself, not at the level as, as you would assume. I don't know if I would consider coming back to Yakman Steakhouse. Especially after what I tried in California Grill and in the Cellier. Oh, let's see what Narcusis and Jico have in store for us in the next upcoming days. Hopefully it performs better than Yaxman Steakhouse. And one more thing. The steak, the porterhouse for two is $135. To pay that much for a steak that disappointing. I mean, it, it just, it, it's, it's not worth it. Not even close. But on the brighter note, I love the Yacht Club Resort, especially during the holiday season. I mean, that little town that they set up with the train going on, it's amazing. I mean, just, just check out this resort. Just, just check it out. It, it is amazing. And the Epcot Resort area becomes my favorite during the holiday season because of the decorations. The way that they decorate the Yacht Club, the uh, gingerbread carousel that they make in the Beach Club. It's, it's amazing. 
and sitting in the boardwalk just chilling overlooking Crescent Lake with the cold temperatures I mean that is that is the way to spend the holiday season all right guys so we came to Magic Kingdom to get a bus to our resort um, if you didn't know you cannot get a bus from one hotel to the other as I said that would be kind of insane but well, coming here I just realized I've been here for three days and we have not once come into Magic Kingdom I I don't know how that has happened but it has that's a problem that's gonna change tomorrow It feels great to be back in the room, honestly. It's a great, magical, but pretty exhausting day. We're bouncing back and forth between Epcot and Hollywood Studios. We had an amazing lunch. Sadly, disappointing dinner, but it doesn't matter. Tomorrow's gonna be another day filled with amazing magic and relaxation. Thank you for being part of the Disney family and see you real soon.